Hi, I'm Sperry Hutchinson from U-Haul, and we have been working on this Dodge Durango to get it ready to tow a trailer. And when you're towing a trailer, you've got to have trailer lights. To accomplish that, we're going to adapt the factory wiring from this Dodge Durango out to this four-way flat plug that's going to provide your turn, uh, brake, and running light signals on your trailer. So we've got these two connectors on each side that are going to tie into our taillights, uh, a ground and a power wire that's going to power this converter, and of course the four-way flat that's our trailer harness end. And let's show you how to install this. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. We've got our rear hatch open and we're gonna gain access to our wiring behind our taillights uh, by removing these two piece plastic trim clips just inside the shut face of the door. So you pry out the center uh, of this particular clip first. You've got the edge of a screwdriver here just underneath that flange. It pops the center out and then the rest of the clip will follow. From there, we're going to pry just behind the rear edge of our taillight, wanting to bring it straight back. Because we have, as you can now see, two ball end clips here and another double retainer clip here at the bottom. The taillight just wants to slide straight back and out. And we now see our factory harness connector, this multiple pin, and we just depress, push in on that fastener there and remove the clip. All right, I'm beginning on the passenger side taillight because I'm gonna keep this green and white pairing of connectors my power, which is this black wire, as well as my white eyelet, which will be our ground here. And the rest of everything else, I'm gonna pass down behind the fascia where this factory harness is coming up. And I'll show you in just a moment where the rest of this will go once it's behind here. Okay, now from below, I've got my driver's side taillight harness as well as my four-way flat harness, and I'm gonna route those up above the muffler system, and it, they're gonna run along the backside of the fascia, and in this case, along with the backup sensors on this vehicle. But if you don't have backup sensors on your Dodge Durango, they will go up along the top edge of the rear cross member, as you'll see.
right, now that I've got that harness run approximately uh, across the rear fascia here to this other side, we'll go ahead and remove the driver's side tail lights, just as we did the passenger side. Removing these two clips first. Again, I'm gonna use a little Teflon tool behind the edge of this tail light. Simply bringing it straight back. And again, unclipping. We'll set the tail light aside for now. Now that I've got my tail light removed on the driver's side, I've got a, a length of wire here, sturdy wire that I've cut as a, a fish wire. And what I'm going to do is tape this temporarily to the harness that I want to bring up to the back of the tail light. And this is just going to make it easier to, to bring that up right where I want it. So now I simply guide that wire just like it sounds you are fishing the wire right where you want it. Now we can remove our wire and our fish wire and we'll begin connecting our leads. Now our trailer wiring harness has a pinned as well as a slotted connector. We're going to match that pin connector up to our factory taillight harness and use the slotted end to connect back to the taillight. And we're going to push these connections together until you hear them click. And then we simply replace our tail light. Again, aligning our clips by pushing them firmly back into place. And reinstalling our two-piece clips here in the shut face of the door. We'll go back over to the passenger side. Now to make our ground wire connection, we're taking our eyelet as well as this self-drilling quarter-inch screw, and I'm gonna put that in a place here behind the taillight where I know I've got some clearance and it's not likely to receive a whole lot of water or road debris and dirt over the years. And I'm gonna use a quarter inch drive socket on my drill to make this hole. Okay, now that I've got my hole drilled and the screw, loosely installed, I'll back that out and install that ground wire with the eyelet. Take care to sort of route your wiring again so that it's out of the way of these other trim clips and such that are going to mount the tail light when we replace it momentarily. Our ground wire connected, I'm ready to connect my, my power lead and I've got my black wire that we're going to mate up and I'm gonna use this multi-purpose electrical pliers to strip 
some of the insulation from the wire that I'm using to run up to the front of the Durango. I'm gonna twist those loose ends of that lead and there's a yellow butt connector included in our kit. I'm going to place one end of the butt connector over my lead from the harness and tightly crimp that around that bare end of wiring. And I'll do the same thing now to our lead running up to the front of the vehicle, making sure I get that wire end as far into the butt connector as possible and tightly crimping the metal ferrule inside, making a solid connection. With our power wire connected and tucked down behind the fascia safely out of the way, we're now going to do as we did on the driver's side of the Durango and simply connect our new harness to the factory vehicle connections here, pushing them in until you hear that click letting you know that it is secure and not going to come loose on you. And we'll tuck that wire safely out of the way. And again, carefully aligning our, our clips. Reinstalling the taillight, again, using our two-piece trim clips here. And now we'll go underneath the vehicle and route our power wiring. Back under our Durango, I've got the power wire that we fed down the fascia, and I'm going to need to run it all the way up to the front of the vehicle and up the firewall. And that means following a path from here to there. And your best bet is always going to be identifying and following some factory wiring or line sets. On the Durango, luckily, there's a uh, wire harness as well as fuel lines and brake lines that are running down the passenger side so we're gonna simply follow along with how the factory has routed and keeping this wire away from exhaust uh, and any suspension components obviously away from the drive line anything that can catch or damage this wire Okay, I now have my power lead run up the passenger side frame rail of the Durango, and I'm here at the base of the firewall, where again, I'm gonna run a fish line down the firewall to pull this line up right where I want it. All right, back up top, my positive connections are here on this passenger side of the Durango underhood. Again, I've got a nice sturdy wire cut here to use as a fish wire, and I'm gonna run this down alongside the factory harness behind the wheel well, and I'm gonna find this down below. Okay, back underneath the Durango here in my hand, I've got the end of my fish wire. And again, I'm gonna mate this up to the power lead running to the back of the vehicle with a couple turns of electrical tape important when you're doing this to get up and over the end of that wire that's going to come back through to make sure it doesn't come loose as we fish it back up top. Okay, I'm going to bring my 
fish wire back up along the firewall. And again, I'm going to remove the tape that has connected the lead to the fish wire. Okay, with the fish wire disconnected, I've pulled the wire up, just putting some tension on it up the firewall so that we know we've got it not loose. I can take a quick visual look, make sure the wire is not loose hanging beneath the vehicle. And I'm gonna connect this power lead to this stud here. And this is power to our fuse and relay panel under hood. To do that, I'm gonna bring the wire through this last little junction here. Where I'm going to use this eyelet end and this butt connector before making our connection to put in a, a fusible lead here so that we have circuit protection for that converter box in the back of our vehicle. All right, now to connect our uh, power supply to our lead, we've got this fusible lead. Uh, the ends on this are already pre-cut, so we don't need to strip the ends here. I always like to give these uh, loose wires a bit of a, a twist before we make those connections. I'll use my wiring pliers again. I'm gonna leave a, a little bit of uh, extra wiring here. I'll cut that and again, strip that insulation back. Again, I'll use the crimping portion of our wiring pliers to connect our end with our butt connector here, crimping that metal ferrule internally. Doing the same thing on the corresponding end of our fusible lead here. this eyelet that will connect our wiring to that terminal. To make that connection, we need to open our cover, loosen the nut on our stud here, we slip the eyelet, that ring terminal over that stud, reinstalling the nut, we'll snug that up again to make sure we've got a good connection. Place our cover. And finally, install our 10 amp fuse. Installing our bracket is simply a matter of combining these Phillips head screws and the corresponding nuts and I'm gonna hang this bracket off of this welded tab so that our four flat is down in a more conventional position. You have the option of also putting it on top. Uh, I think it looks and works best uh, here. And we're gonna tighten up our hardware using, again, a Phillips screwdriver and a 3 8 wrench. Simply snugging that hardware up.
like so. Installing our four-way flat plug from the back. There are some rubber detents that will lock into that stamped portion of the bracket and installing the dust cover from the rear to the front is going to further secure that plug. And there it is, your trailer wiring on your Dodge Durango. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.